What's going on YouTube? Mobvoi has done it again and I've said it in the past, I'll say it right now. They're really the only company that's been keeping Wear OS alive this whole time. But this is Mobvoi's second 4100 processor smartwatch. This is a TicWatch E3 at less than $200, but if you check my link down below, I can save you guys some coin, because that's what I like to do. But at the sub $200 price point, is this something you should pick up right now? How's the battery life? How's the fitness tracking? How's all that good stuff? Let's go ahead, check out the TicWatch E3 together. Before we get into my testing, I have been using this watch for a little while now. Let's just take a look at some of the key specs that are on the box. So again, it is using Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 platform with 1GB of RAM, 8GB of storage. You do have a speaker and microphone, so yes, you can make and take phone calls from your wrist. Of course, you have Google Pay, the Google Assistant's where it's at, GPS built in, and you can get thousands of watch faces online. Again, this is what you get in the box, basically the watch and the charging cable. It's a 1.3 inch, 2.5D curved display, IP68 swim suitable. You get 20 plus workout modes. You do get 24 hour heart rate monitor, 24 hour blood saturation monitoring. You also get stress monitoring. You get a lot of ways that you can monitor your health. But let's go ahead, take a look at the E3 together and see what it's all about. Now I've already unboxed it guys, it's been on my wrist this whole time. So this is it, I want to show you what it looks like, how it sits on the wrist exactly. And just for a size comparison, I know you guys like to see size comparisons. This is what it looks like against the TicWatch Pro 3. There are some slight differences between these two watches and if you want to see my full review on the TicWatch Pro 3 here, I'll leave that link down in the description as well as this card that'll just pop up. But you can see the design is just a little bit different. The TicWatch Pro 3 is just a little bit thinner. But I just wanted to show you that comparison because you might be thinking about these two watches and depending on, depending on the price of these two watches, you might choose one over the other. But this one has that dual layered display. On the E3, they weren't able to put that a dual technology screen on this on this smartwatch just because of the price and the TicWatch E3 still has an essential mode and I'll talk about all those features in just a little bit but let's just take a look at the watch together guys I want to show you some of the key some of the key aspects of the watch now it doesn't charge wirelessly you do have to use their pogo pin style charger you do have this heart rate monitor and again in my testing this heart rate monitor has been very very good there's your little speaker and microphone so you can make and take phone calls on your wrist. Now I really like this watch again at sub $200. I think Bobvoy did a really nice job. Now you can see those bezels there. Just a little bit, just a little bit on the larger side, especially when you compare it to the TicWatch Pro 3 here. But again, that's nothing to discount, nothing to take away from this watch. I think they still designed a very, very nice watch. It's also really light as well. It's only about 32 grams. So again, you don't really feel it all that much on your wrist. Replaceable 20 millimeter style bands here, so swap them out, swap whatever type of band you want to suit your needs. Now let's just go over some of the key specs that you might want to know about this watch before you consider buying it. It is running Wear OS now, and I know there is a new version of Wear OS, so let's get that out of the way really quickly. I have talked to Mobvoi, and all they could tell me is the Snapdragon 4100 is only a year old. So they are working on it, but they didn't, or they didn't really confirm, they didn't deny, they've... They kind of said they're working on it, but they can't really disclose any information. So take that as it is. Take it at face value. If you're buying this watch, do not expect it to get updated to the new Wear platform. That's just something that I always say when people buy tech. Buy, buy tech for what it is today, not for what it might be promised tomorrow. Because if you do it that way, you always will be disappointed. But swiping over to the right, guys, there's your Google Assistant. And that's what makes the Wear OS platform the most useful platform on the planet. The Google Assistant's one of the best assistants on the market. You can access everything you want. Where's the closest Starbucks? I found a few Starbucks locations near you. So there we go. You get a nice little audible kind of reply and you also get to see a map where everything is. And you get a detailed list again of your query. So again, the Google Assistant is something I've always enjoyed on a Wear OS watch. And that's why I definitely like it. Not to mention you get your Google feed. So here's your Google feed right over there. Nice little quote of the day. Swiping down the notification shade. This is where you get a little bit of quick toggles. Now for brightness, there is an automatic brightness on the E3. So you do have to go in and adjust it accordingly. Now that being said, I had no problem seeing this in direct sunlight. And again, at night, it can get dim enough where that it's not going to blind you. So I think, they did, I think they did a nice job with the display here. Again, you have quick access to Google Pay. You get a whole bunch of other features like that. And... If you're playing any type of multimedia, you can interact with it, change the track, change the volume, etc., etc., all from your wrist. And that's what I really like once again about Wear OS. 
Now all your notifications, Facebook, WhatsApp, regular SMS, anything like that, because it is fully integrated into Android, you do get all your notifications. You can swipe up and see all your notifications if you have any. When you do get a notification, you'll see a little, little notification dot right at the bottom there, and you do feel a vibration as well. So you have to do is swipe up, and again, you're gonna see emojis, you're gonna see everything fun like that. So that's again why I like Wear OS. Now swiping over to the left, this is where you get sort of your sort of your health activity type of feed. Now I'm going to get into the health aspect in just a little bit as well. But swiping over again, this is where you see all of your information. Now the E3 does support 24-hour heart rate monitoring, which is definitely something awesome. 24-hour blood oxygen saturation monitoring as well. This really is a watch that you could wear and have all of your health stats monitored for you 24 hours a day. And what I like about Mobvoi as well is they have their own tick Tick suite of applications, I'll call it. So here's Tick Health, and again, this is the same on the Tick Watch Pro 3, but you get to see an overview, you get these three little rings, and it'll let you know exactly how you're doing throughout your entire day. Your calories burned, your miles, if you did any high intensity of workouts, etc., etc. Here's your heart rate information. Again, you can enable or disable that 24 hour monitoring just to give you better battery life. There's your oxygen saturation. So again, this is what it'll look like. Highest today, 100 lowest 95 and you can see a little history a little graph of exactly what's been going on and the same with your heart rate if you want to see the graph of how your heart rate was throughout the day you can see it right there and you can see your past week now i had to reset the watch so a lot of my a lot of my activities were not really transferred a lot of my activities did not sync again i'm using pre-release software on both my phone for the application and on the watch so this will all be fixed I already spoke to Mobvoi and I will put up some some stats on Twitter if you guys want to see it once it's fully once it's fully released and once they've updated their apps etc etc now let's just go into tick pulse really quickly this is your 24 hour heart rate monitor and you'll see it's going to monitor my heart rate right now so there's my heart rate you do have options for sleep tracking I know a lot of you like sleep tracking I personally don't like I don't like wearing a watch when I sleep, but I did it for you guys. So you can see some information. I slept 7 hours and 13 minutes, 94% efficiency rating. And there's your stages, awake, REM, light sleep, deep sleep. Again, this is all familiar if you've ever done any sort of sleep tracking with a watch before or any other app. So you can see I was 90% normal with my blood oxygen saturation. Now Tick Zen is going to let you know of your stress level throughout the day. Again, if you guys need this sort of app to, to let you know if you're stressed, it is here for you guys. And then when the watch lets you know that you're stressed, you can always use a Tick Breathe application to kind of take a minute to breathe. So that's something you guys might want to might wanna take note of if you're stressed. Stop for a minute and start breathing. Now this is something pretty interesting, it's going to let you know about the decibel level around you. Again, if it's dangerous, now I'm just speaking towards the watch and it's telling me I'm talking in a New York type of way, so it is a little bit of danger. So let me just stop talking and you can see, see the decibel level around in my office here. So there we go, you can see the, the noise level around you, perfect for you clubbers out there, for you ravers. It'll let you know if you're in an environment where it's just a little bit too loud and that might be, that might be damaging to your hearing in the long run. I do want to talk about a couple things when it comes to this always on display, when it comes to the essential mode, when it comes to battery life, and when it comes to fitness tracking. So again, you can have an always on display because, well, we always want to know the time. That's the point of having a watch. So you can have an always on display depending on what type of watch face you choose. What I like about Mobvoi and what I always liked about the TicWatch Pro 3 here is, of course, that dual layer display. But Mobvoi's kind of incorporated that type of idea into the E3 here. And they have something that's called your essential mode. It's going to save you a lot of battery life. It's just going to show you the time. It's still going to monitor your steps and your heart rate. But it's going to save battery and you can trigger it manually. Or you can have it turn on at a specific battery interval. So either 5, 10, 15, or 20%. You can also have it turn on from a specific time to a specific time. And let me just show you what that looks like really quickly. It's going to tell you the date, the time, your steps, and of course your battery life. Now you're not going to get any notifications, you're not going to be able to interact with the watch whatsoever. But again, this is going to save you a lot of battery life. And you can also monitor your heart rate right over there. It's going to continually monitor your heart rate once again. Now to exit it, just hold down on that power button and it's going to reboot into regular smartwatch mode. Now speaking of battery life, inside is a 380 milliamp hour battery. In my testing, I got about a day and a half on this with all the 24 hour monitoring turned on. Again, you can turn that off. And I also did have the always on display turned on and I still was able to get a day and a half. I tested it without the always on display and I got very close to two days. I'd say a day and three quarters. 
but for most people, just assume you're going to have to charge this at night again. It all depends on what you do with these smartwatches. But again, I would assume most people take more phone calls than I do on their wrists. So, so just assume about a day of battery life, maybe a little bit more. But I continually got a day and a half. But again, that's my usage. That's my testing. Now, speaking of testing, I did go on a three-hour bike ride, and I just want to show you that. I am using pre-release software, so it is still uploading. When this does upload once again, I will let you guys know on Twitter. But if I show you the bike ride, it took three hours, and it was 45.9 miles. I did not have this connected to my phone. I wanted this only to be used with the GPS inside, with that internal GPS. And my actual distance was 46.3 miles, so very, very respectable. I think Mobvoi has always done a really good job with their GPS chips. And also the heart rate monitoring was definitely on point as well. No issues with that heart rate monitor. If you can see, my average was 139 with a max of 172. If I show you here on my other device, max was 179 and 144, so definitely within that range. And you can see the average speed was 14.7. And the average speed on my Garmin, 14.8. So once again, very, very respectable. And you can see in which type of zone you were when you were doing your activity. So warm up, fat burn, mostly cardio, obviously, anaerobic or dangerous. Thankfully, zero minutes and dangerous. So the heart rate monitoring, again, on all these tick watches that I've reviewed, all of the newer tick watches does an excellent, excellent job. And again, the tracking is where it's at. The GPS did an awesome job not being assisted by my phone. This does have automatic automatic detection. So if you go for a run, you go for a walk, and you forget to turn on any sort of activity, it's going to start for you automatically. And if we take a look at it, you can see all the 21 different, different types of exercises. But again, you can install Google Fit and get even a little more. Just one little note here, guys. If you like to lift weights, and I've said this before in the past, Tick Watches have always been really good at this. You can see that always on display is going to let you know some key information there. But what I like about this freestyle application, you can choose your set and your pause sets. So you can quickly go in and let the watch know that, hey, I'm pausing, and it'll let you know your time. So you can go there, pause step one, and you can ensure that you're not resting for too long. And then you can go ahead and see your, your next step. And you'll always be able to monitor your heart rate right on the top over there. So again, I think Mobvoi does a really good job with their with their exercise tracking. Just like the TicWatch Pro before it, the E3 is super, super snappy. Again, one gigabyte of RAM is definitely what's needed on Wear OS devices. No issues with snappiness, no issues with lag, no issues with stuttering. Everything is just super, super smooth. Again, you can take a look at their TicWatch type of UI here, which you can disable if you want to, but I think it's kind of nice. I like, the, I like the overall look of it, but no issues. Opening up applications, let's go to Tick Sleep. Very, very quick, as you'd expect, on the 4100. So again, they designed a very, very nice watch at this price point. Even at a higher price point, this is a super snappy watch when compared to some other Wear OS devices. So no issues with that. It Will it be updated to the new Wear platform? That I do not know. I haven't been able to get a direct answer. But once again, guys, buy a watch, buy tech for what it is today. Not for what might be promised tomorrow, but at under 200 bucks, I think they did a really nice job. The design of the watch is really nice as well. I definitely like this kind of modern design. You have a little kind of fake carbon fiber look on the side, on that, on that bottom half of the watch. Again, if you use my link down below, you'll save a little bit of coin as well. But let me know what you guys think about the TicWatch E3 here. Health tracking is definitely on point with Mobvoi products. There's never been an issue with heart rate, never been an issue with GPS. They do a really good job. Again, this is a smart watch first, a fitness watch second. Make sure you guys know the difference between those two and choose accordingly, depending on what your needs are. But as a smart watch, this is an awesome watch that's going to be able to track your fitness as well. I really appreciate you guys watching. Leave a thumbs up as it helps the channel. And if you really like the video, subscribe. That definitely helps me out. Appreciate it once again, and I'll catch you in another video.